Do I need to move the trash cans okay for you? What's that? Are the trash cans okay for you? Uh, we're gonna have to move it a little bit. So. Okay. Begins the day where we get our new AC unit. And there's Halo doing the most. Yeah. All right, come on, we'll play later. No shoes on, look at a hot mess. So, yeah, you guys, are, ooh, I look like a hot mess. Anyway, you and Jose need to calm down. So, we just sitting here because it ain't too much I can do. Um, They're going to be here all day, pretty much. Fixing the unit, you guys. So, yeah. But at least it's getting fixed. So, you guys, this is what my house, my room is currently looking like. Stay there. Do I hear? And yeah. They're going all up in the attic and fixing it. Mm, yeah. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Hey, see what time it is. I left my fans going last night. I'll leave that one on. Just sit there. It's finished blowing. I'm tired, but I'm not tired. Y'all, yesterday was a day. Mm. Look, my face looks so swollen. I don't know why my face looks swollen, but <sighs> I'm just glad it's over with. Let me tell you something. Having your East AC not working is atrocious. Even having to having to or even trying to have it to get fixed, okay. My coffee's done. So let's go get that. Cause your girl needs her coffee. She needs it every single morning. Yesterday was a long, exhausting day. Seriously, you guys. Let me have a cup of this coffee, a sip of this coffee. Uh, 
So yesterday, my day started around this time yesterday. I got up because I really couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep for the past few days with my AC. Mind you, the other days when the guy came out, it was blowing cold air, but you guys know it had to replace the whole system and it just didn't want to take no chances of it going out again and have to be in a hot house. But needless to say, that's all done. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys a clip of that. Yesterday I did not get to vlog for um, that. <clears throat> because I had to watch Halo. I had to watch these people coming in and out of my house and you guys, my anxiety was on an all time high. My anxiety goes through the roof, you know. I really hate when people have to come to my house and fix stuff and things. I'm just, I'm, mm -mm, my nerves, you know, it's just a stranger in your house you gotta watch them and make sure they're doing a job make sure they ain't doing something other than they job okay you know so it's just dealing with halo you know because she's a kid and she doesn't understand good the good thing is like yesterday morning i got up and i cooked her breakfast that was the last thing i cooked yesterday so being able to make food for her and all that I couldn't do. So it was difficult having a toddler not understanding really what's going on. All she's seeing is people go in and out and just trying to keep her out of the way. She wanted to go up to her room but I told her she couldn't because they was going back and forth upstairs and my, all of my doors was open so I wanted to keep an eye on the downstairs part and she got antsy and then it got hot she got irritable. I got irritable. Y'all know that. <laughs> so it was just, it was a lot to deal with, you know. My house is a mess. My house is a mess. I'm a mess. Everything is a mess. And I'm just like, oh, this right here. Oh, <laughs> for real, y'all. But such is life. Like, everything ain't rainbows, okay? So, and then arguing with Jose it just if you a woman and you you know how it can be like if y'all ain't arguing you ain't in no relationship that's just how I look at it you know so but so today being that today I'm on my computer y'all I had uh, forgot to link my um grow collaborative link um i told you guys i became an influ influencer with um growth collaborative but i forgot to put my link in the um a video so i just did that but today is july the 18th many y'all may not know what that means but what that means to me is that i got 10 more days 10 more days okay before your girl turn 40 like can y'all believe it? Your girl's gonna be 40 years old. Say what? 40 years old? Wow. But the good part about it is your girl still get carded for liquor. I go to the grocery store. They still want to cart me for liquor. And I'm like, I got a baby. Don't you see my wrinkled hands? Well, they not that wrinkled. But, you know, you can tell by people's hands. Like, how old they are, you know? That they old, they older than what they say they are. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why my camera don't wanna focus, but yeah, and I'm like, if we wanna car people liquor, I'm old, shit. <laughs> but you know, I thank God for that. I thank God for that, but also I thank God for my great grandmother because what she told me, she said, when I was younger, and I had to be maybe about 14 or 15 years old, and um, my great-grandmother told me, she said, Ebony, I'm going to tell you something. If you be in them streets, you're going to age like them streets. So if you be in them streets in the dark, you're going to age like them streets in the dark. And she just told me that out of the clear blue sky, you guys. The clear blue sky. And I'm like, what, mom? Because we called her mother. I'm like, what, mother? A lot of the things that her and my great-grandfather used to tell me, didn't mean nothing to me. It didn't register. It didn't register to me until I got kids. 
until I became an adult. So, yeah, so I'm like, okay. But I understand it now. So, me being 40 years old, about to be 40 in 10 days, and I still get caught in. And I look at a lot of women now that I used to go to school with, girls that I used to go to school with, and they look older than me, and I'm like, we the same age. <laughs> so it's like, what is going on, you know? And I had one of them hit me up like, Ebony, what are you doing with your skin? Like, nothing nobody else isn't doing, you know? But it's true for us, so you, you guys be in them streets, you're gonna age like, and I told my kids the same thing. And I'm glad I don't, my girls, neither one of them like party like that. They have been to parties and clubs and things, but they not popping it off every Friday and Saturday or Thursday, Friday and Saturday. I know some kids that they go clubbing every Friday and Saturday. My kids ain't like that. And I'm gonna raise Halo to be that way and I pray to God she would be the same way, you know. I mean, every now and then it's okay to go out, you know, and enjoy yourself or whatever. But throwing your money down the drain for watered down drinks, uh, no. No, it's not. kiddos. Let me tell y'all something. It's not all cracked up what it seems like, okay? And you think about it if you go to work and you spend your hard earned money and you go into the club paying for drinks ten dollars and they add they watering it down so you can keep ordering more, you know, your money is literally, literally just think of some water or drink or whatever, whatever you drink is literally going down the drain. You ain't got shit to show for nothing. That's why partying is not my thing, you know, at all. Drinking is not my thing. All that stuff just ages you. And I just, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I am an adult. I am of age. If I feel like having a drink, I will occasionally. But I'm not a drinker. I'm not a smoker. I don't do none of that. So by the grace of God, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I didn't. You know what I mean? So, but. Don't get caught up in that line life, making somebody else richer and you going broker just for a few hours, you know, and then you really get to enjoy yourself. You be having a hangover, cheap liquor, it's, it, it, it's ridiculous. So, but I thank God for you, mother. Thank God for you. When you have grandparents or great grandparents or your parents tell you something to help you, your kids may not understand it now, but kind of like put it back in your brain bank, you know. It, it will come to you what they're trying to tell you later on. It definitely will. So just when your parents tell you something, definitely listen to them. And I'm saying this because I know I got a lot of kids on my channel. And it's like, I'm y'all YouTube mama. So whatever your parents going to tell you, I'm going to tell you whatever to steer you in the right way as well. Just so think about that, you know clubbing and party is not what it's all cracked up to be don't get caught up in these people on reality like basketball wise and love and hip-hop it's good entertainment and if you guys notice they are actors have you ever noticed like all of them start they starting to go to acting classes because they are acting to entertain you this stuff ain't real so don't get caught up in that line life you know what i mean like it's good entertainment or kiki laugh or whatever like y'all still be y'all funny you know just as di no different than you would go to see a movie at the theater but it's just television so anywho y'all that's what i just wanted to say your girl about to be 40 in 10 days 40 i still look good though even though i look busted right now your girl still look good I still look good. Hi. <laughs>